Fran Boyer was finding it hard to stay awake, particularly when driving. I was falling asleep actually at the traffic lights in the car. She had no idea how dangerous the situation was until she had an accident. I fell sound asleep at the wheel of the car and crashed into a, a traffic island. We're going to be putting this high density sensor net mm -hmm. on your head. Her GP referred her for a sleep study, which revealed obstructive sleep apnea. Her airway had been closing while she slept, causing her to wake up hundreds of times during the night. You don't have good quality sleep, so the consequences can be quite serious in terms of um, driving, accidents. Scientists at the Woolcock Institute are now studying whether treating sleep apnea prevents part of the brain switching off during the day. You wouldn't know that parts of the brain are actually going offline because their eyes are awake. It's like the lights are on, but nobody's home. About a quarter of women and half of men aged over 50 have sleep apnea, though many don't know it. Doctors say if you have daytime sleepiness, brain fog or loud snoring, you should be screened for a sleep study. People with obstructive sleep apnea are at up to two and a half times increased risk of car crashes if they're untreated. And it's been likened to driving with a blood alcohol content above the legal limit. Fran Boyer now uses a machine to help her breathe properly when sleeping. I think I've gained 10 years. I feel much better. And she feels much safer on the road. Sophie Scott, ABC News.